Yes guys, what is happening? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, what we're doing, we're working on my good friend's Aaron's Mini uh, R56. Um, apparently they're renowned for boost leaks on the uh, cam cover, the top of the engine. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you how to replace it, why we're even replacing it, and uh, hopefully stop him losing boost and oil, because I bet you put tons of oil in this, don't you? <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's get onto it and show you what we're doing. Right then, so here is the R56 engine. Do you say this is a common problem not with the minis and that? Yeah. Right, so we'll show you in here. Right, we'll show you where the oil... On the back. Where's the oil not leaking from, Aaron? Uh, so you've got like, there's the front of the engine. Um, it's leaking there. It just doesn't... You probably could have cleaned it to be fair, but... Yeah, there's, there's no point. You can see all the oil around there. And you say it does. It's supposed to cause a boost leak as well. Apparently so. Yeah. So yeah, what we're doing today, we're going to show you how to remove all this goodness and stick the new one on. Well, then, so here is the new one that we're replacing. Um, Look at that baby, brand spanking new, lovely goodness. So yeah, we're going to show you how to. Pretty heavy, isn't it? Pretty heavy, man. Um, so yeah, let's, let's show you how to do it. Right, first things first, icon hoses coming off. Yeah, there we go. Get up. Yeah, look, as you can see, if you can see the oil, it's down there. That one's not that bad. Do you reckon when you take the, take the spark plugs out, don't you? No. Yeah. Yeah. You know, of course. Oh, just the course. Yeah. First things first, cam cover sensor. Um, Pop that off, what size is it? Eight. Eight mil. Easy. This oil on was going to lose it up. I literally moved the camera to get it on, and then you I put just the hand in the way. Yeah. <laughs> right, then pull us out. Oh, or snap. No, I didn't snap. No. <laughs> Something will snap though. Nah, that's five, man. Oh, is that how easy they come out? You never. Yep. No oil. No oil. So literally pull that clip up. Yeah. Pull that clip up, release the connection, and just pull the coils and all a oh, little bit there. Nah, it's good compared to that plug, that uh, thingy there. Oh, there we go, you pull that out. I'm gonna remember which one goes where or what. It's all done like that. Yeah. I don't think it matters to be fair, does it? As long as you get the connections. No, no, a bit rusty, isn't it? No. <laughs> no, sealed pretty good. If it was an Astra, it'd be swimming. Maybe it won't went on properly. Well, there's a PVC pipe that, like an outlet, inlet, or whatever it's supposed to be on the back of the uh, cam cover. I always get like it, like, we haven't took the top off yet, but when you see like the cams and all that, and I start going, shit, this is too technical for me. I just think, yo, I'll end up dropping some and ruining the engine so i get a bit scared but uh now i've done it a couple of times it's not that bad but it's still a daunting experience there we go them clips are dog shit aren't they? Yep, 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 yep. they're not bad sticking them back in but right then so these two here are supposed to be the longer ones so we've got one two three uh Guessing that is 
Eight, nine, ten. You might have, uh, you might have to move this pipe, this icon pipe, because. Nah, look at it, man. That's tight as a whistle. Watch. By the way, that's not all right. He has got to take it off. So, oh, one minute, sir. Ooh, it's always scary because if you snap it, it's pretty much game over, isn't it? Yep. Need to deep one. Do you watch Danny DC too? No. Not watch any of his stuff. No. Absolute quality. Oi. These ones aren't very tight, you know. Well, they're, well like, not tight, and then they get tight. Mm. That's normally what happens when something's going to snap. <laughs> so, according to the internet. Yeah. Oh, and you got them two in there, yeah. innit? Yeah. But I didn't listen. So, you meant to pop. What then? We have lift off for what? Oh. I'm scared. What do you do if you just snap off the cam cover in half with your got a new strength. one? Got a new one? Is there some cows no, bolted to I mean half of it snaps in half and the other half stuck. Oh, well it's fucked on it. It's coming baby. See, that's what I mean about scary dropping shit. <laughs> oh my god, look at this, it's like looking into a Rolex. Oh yeah, that is meant to be there. And that little orange thing was on that. And that is, that's the common problem with these, isn't it? You reckon? Oh, chain. it's not even stretchy. No. No, it looks solid, mate. Yeah, that is a common problem on these, I believe, the timing chains. If they're not, not oiled and that. Dog shit. Whoa! I'm not saying dog Whoa. shit. Apparently they are. I'm just going off what I'm told. You told me they were dog shit. Yeah, but you don't say it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this one, obviously, this phone example is not dog shit, but. Junker, what? Oh, it's one. Absolutely. So what you're going to want to do now is just like clean all the sealant and stuff off um, just clean all around the top edges or like it here where the new cam cover and that's going to sit um, see how it's like very very oily that's obviously where the gaskets failed well i'm guessing so yeah because if all was basically there it must be whereas obviously there's no oil here and that so see this is just gasket that's just what do people recommend? Should should you use gasket sealant or should it just be nothing? Just a quick one whilst we've got the uh, the old engine apart. You know like the scoring and the marks on the they're the valves, they're the cams, cams in it. Um, does that look normal? Come on, focus, you absolute slut. Yeah, you see, it's just a bit worn. Just wondered if that if that's normal or is that just general wear and tear of the uh, the old engine? Anyone comment down below and let us know. Much appreciated. So we just pulled out the little red tab there and then this thing just goes straight in. Took a while. Not that I guess. I think. Maybe it's fully seated now. Yeah. Ready now? Stick the new one on. Is it going in the right place, I guess? Yeah. Ain't going nowhere else. <laughs> so, as with most cam covers and all that, there is a certain way you're supposed to do it. Um, and on this one, can we see it? Oh, shit. What was that, mate? You broke one of our covers. I ain't done that. No way. Right, so on that, it goes like that. So, if you want, pause it. Um, Hopefully you can see that. Don't, was it multicolored? That's weird that is. Um, so yeah, we're going to go in order that that size. He hasn't got a torque wrench, so he's going to do it by hand, pretty much. And uh, hopefully that sorts it out. Oh, 
Well then, so if you didn't see it, one is that one at the top in the middle. Just nipping it up now. Two is the one directly below it. Three is the centre one. This one falls the opposite side, yeah? Yeah. Take unnecessary stuff off over here. No. Yeah. Oh. 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 So you put less pressure on it. Yeah. I don't need to do maths. Just don't disclose it. I don't really want that catching on fire. What's that? That one, then one at the top, last one. Yeah. yeah that one, and then that one there, and that's it. And that is it. We're all connected. All the coils are connected up. Uh, the wiring uh, is plugged in. That back hose is plugged in, uh, all this jazz. That looks like a connector, but apparently not. Um, and then there's the camshaft sensor, I think it is. Um, so yeah, we're all in, ready to start, so let's go. Right then, so we took it for a quick Blast around the block, and um, wow, the lighting's absolutely dead. I'm getting blasted everywhere. Um, we took it for a quick uh, blast around the block. Um, it seems to be Pucker. Um, he let it warm up for like five or ten minutes, then took it for a draw. Um, it seems to be spot on and um, doesn't seem to be leaking anymore. So, yep, yeah, that is the video uh, done. Um, I thought I'd video it because obviously it's mechanical, it's working on a car, and hopefully, it will help one of you guys if you're watching this now and you've got the same problem. Hopefully you fixed it just by watching the video and that, and it is as easy as that. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.